Hello, this is Tappy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Carrying on straight where we left off in the last episode, I made my way up this hill using, <laughs> using this beast. Do you know the problem with this is I just don't think that it's powerful enough. We need to add ourselves another fan, I think. That's uh, that's what I reckon, if I can get the controls right. Uh, so yeah, uh, end of the last episode, we just saw that there was a, um, a poor little Korok who was stranded that needed uh, help. I also noticed there was a cave uh, with, with a construct in, which is, uh, which is down through that way. So um, yeah, maybe we'll we'll come back and uh, and check that out. But I just can't leave, I just can't leave this poor Korok there all by themselves. So I'm assuming I'm going to need to ride this up the road. Well, let's speak to them and see where they actually want to where they want to go. They need to learn to pack lighter. What have they got in those bags? Oh, my friend and I got separated. Okay, yeah, they are over there. Oh, oh yeah, I can see them. I can see them. My friend is uh, sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Right, I hope you uh you like roller coasters, little buddy. I kind of like the idea of just putting them in him and just sending them off, but I guess I need to go to the other side. Oh god, how much glue was needed? He he's not going anywhere, is he? Right, off we go. <laughs> oh, oh, is there a stop? Okay, there is a stop. But if I try and hit it as we go, okay, not the uh not the most gentle of ending. Oh no no no! Don't go! Don't go back! Okay, we're rolling back down. Right, let's send it off again. Then if I hit it, then hopefully it won't bounce too fast. And then let's uh. Go and grab it, and just take it off the the track before uh, <laughs> before he ends up going back by himself again. Right, let's see. Can I grab him out if I just give him a little bit of a, of a shake, and then very gently place him down here next to his uh, his mate? And I should get some. Uh, yeah, I should get a, a couple korok seeds for for this. Still haven't met uh, Hesu yet, so um, I haven't really had a, a use for for any of these uh, korok seeds yet. But I'm assuming. It's going to be what I'll use to increase my uh, my inventory slots again. Is the uh, I guess what would make sense, seeing as that's the uh, the way it was in a uh, breath of the the wild. So let's grab some loot here, have a little look around, and then decide whether I want to go for the snowy cave that way. Or oh, I can't actually. That track's broken. Unless I can find a way to fix it, this might be a, a dead end this way anyway. Yeah, you see, there's the uh, the big gap in the the track. So I mean, maybe if I put a fan underneath the car. That might give it enough up for us that I might just be able to fly over. <laughs> and I do want to go through that snowy cave, but I just want to try it out to see if that would work. Like, would I just be able to get enough speed and uplift just to, like, launch over that gap anyway and just keep on going? That's what I'm going to attempt. So, look, let's, let's turn this upside down and let's be, like, a mechanic for a bit. And then if I put this one there like that, do you think one would be... I think one might be enough. Because I got all of that propulsion from that side, so let's uh, let's see whether this will make it across. Maybe I should um, maybe I should save <laughs> before doing this because, to be honest, I cannot imagine a world where this is going to end up uh, working successfully. Right, let's go and uh, let's just. I guess it will, just, will it lock on. Oh no, the fan gets in the way. Oh, that's no. Oh, actually, it's kind of on. It's kind. It's kind. It's kind of just going anyway. I kind of just want to go in this anyway and see and see what happens. So I tell you what, let's let's give ourselves a cheeky save anyway, because I don't want to, I don't want to end up losing my my magic card. Oh, there we go. Oh, it has fit in. Kinda. I don't know how stable it is in there. Right? Can I can I get in it? Maybe if I jump up on this. Here we go. Right. <laughs> Countdown. We will have launch in five, four, three, two. One, we have lift off. Am I gonna make it? Oh no, we've got stuck. Oh, we've got stuck. Okay, I need to give it a nudge. I need to give it a nudge. Oh, yeah. oh no, we got trouble. How disappointing. I thought it was gonna go for a bit. Right, let's. Maybe it can just get unstuck and we can go again. Oh, there we go. Here we go. That's it. Keep going. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. To be honest. That did go just about as well as I expected it would. And it was just as, as glorious. And it was put me back here and I've lost my car. You know what? It's fine. Sometimes we need to, to say farewell to the uh, the things we've created. It's gone to, to live its own life down in Hyrule. Hopefully I'm not above like a village or anything. And that's just <laughs> plummeted from the, the sky and, uh, and crushed them. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay. Let's go into the, uh, the cave. And uh, let's loop around and uh, see where that's going to, to take us to then. 
Right, so the uh, the cave just looped around on itself. But I did get some more of the um, the spicy peppers. Uh, so I tell you what, let's go and just cook uh, a big uh, bunch of these together. Let's cook like five of these or four of these. Uh, and then we can... Um, we can eat this. So that's going to be like 10 minutes of fire resistance, so that should be fine. And you know, I might as well rest as well, because it's, like it's going to be dark. And obviously more uh, googly spawn when it's uh, dark. So let's uh, get it back to, to morning. Then yeah, let's go and head up the um, the the snowy mountain and see whether this is going to lead in the uh, the direction of uh, the next shrine. I think it seems it is. If you look in the, the mini-map in the bottom right-hand corner, it looks like we are going in that direction. Right, the, the mountain didn't really seem to lead anywhere. It kind of just went to a dead end there. So instead, I'm going to go and try and check out this, um, thing. <laughs> Whatever this is. I'm assuming it's bad because it's like, oh, okay. It definitely is bad. But I, I, I can, oh, I can, I can like lift it up. Oh, it's, it's turned into like a box. But I can like grab bits of it by the looks of it. And then can I like, just like, can I break the, well, let me see if I, if I hit this with a hammer. No, that's like solid. So where, where's it's like the head one? I need to try and grab the head one if I can. And then maybe try and attack that. Can I shake it off? There we go. Okay. So I broke off the head one. And now I can try and hit this, I guess. Let's uh let's use a weapon that does more damage. So uh, this seems to do my most damage out of everything I have. So let's try and, uh, and whack that if, uh, <laughs> if I can. <laughs> okay, this is not what I expected. I'm trying to... If I try to take away more of these boxes, I can keep a... Uh, I guess gradually making it like a little bit weaker until I can get the uh, the main box, which I think is here. So I try to shake it free. Then it's all collapsed. Oh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Okay, it's right here. Oh, no, no, don't climb up. Did I, did I get rid of my weapon? There we go. Okay. Let's go try and do as much damage as we can before it goes and gets all connected again. This is cool. This is uh, not the uh, the kind of boss that I've ever faced before. Right, once again, I can't see the, uh, the head one. Oh, there it is. There it is. Let's go try and shake it free. Shake it free. Shake it free. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. All right, let's go try and break it. I think one more rotation. I think, yeah, it's going to get back in now. I reckon one more go and I'll be able to, to take it out. I'm assuming this is how I'm meant to fight it because, I mean, just, just attacking it normally wouldn't be that effective. And oh no, it destroyed me. It hadn't hurt me at all, but it seems like it doesn't do much. Well, it does a lot of damage, but it just attacks quite slow. I was getting all confident, thinking I was going to, to take it out. Uh, that was cool, though. Let's go uh, straight back and uh, give that uh, another attempt, though. I reckon I'll get it next go. Okay, I'm doing much better this time. I've literally just uh, immediately taken it out twice. I think just one more go will do it. So <laughs> really go mad checking that analog stick to try and get it to, to fall down. What cool idea for a boss though? Like I'm assuming, yeah, it says fl flux construct one. So I reckon they're gonna like gradually get tougher than that later on. But oh, I got loads of stuff from it. And what's this little bit? Is this just like the thing that puts it all together? Can I, can I, oh, I can pick that up though, I think. Ooh, I wonder if I could I could put that on like the front of like one of my weapons. Doesn't seem to hurt my feet despite the fact I'm only holding sandals. Do you reckon I can uh, I can fuse that? I'm not sure if I can, but it's worth uh, it's worth giving it a little go, isn't it? Right. Oh, maybe I can fuse it. Oh, <laughs> okay. That does crazy damage. That is now my uh, highest damage weapon. I guess that's my uh, my reward. Although. I'm actually not sure where to, to go then. They made a big deal about going to like this snowy mountain and I went literally here and like this is all there is. I'm not going to fall down here, am I? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it just goes to, to here. So I reckon I've got to go somewhere else. Is that where I've been before? Oh, unless, oh, do I keep going around this way maybe? Am I meant to go up there? Oh no, I'm not so sure. Yeah, that's quite a big gap there. Unless I'm meant to like make a flying machine. Maybe I'm meant to keep going up this way somehow and go up the mountain the other side. Yeah, let's go look around from the other side. There's got to be something obvious that I'm missing here. Aha, I was missing something. So the cave didn't just loop back on itself. Uh, if you kept going through, uh, at the, the top, there's a little area that you could uh, climb out to, to reach the, the top of the, the mountain. So there's the next shrine. We are not very far away from it at all, and that will get my next ability. Uh, but first, it looks like there's a uh, another Korok seed I can uh, I can grab here. I do wish, like, I like the fact that they got the Korok seeds where you got to, like, guide them to um, where they need to go. 
But I do wish these ones were a little bit more different. Like, it, it just feels maybe a little bit too familiar to, to Breath of the, the Wild. And I know this is the sequel to, to Breath of the Wild, obviously. Uh, but, yeah, I kind of wish that these puzzles were... I don't know, had a little bit more variety. Because even within Breath of the Wild, these started to get a little bit samey. So maybe there will be other ones later on. But the fact that I've already done one of these and there's been one hidden under a, a rock. Hopefully they do get a little bit more creative later on in the, the game. Right, let's uh, let's try my uh, my new weapon then, my Flux Core Pounder. <laughs> That's a video game weapon if I've ever heard one. And okay, it is effective. Right, let's let's not use it now because obviously there is weapon durability. Let's save that for uh, when we get into like a, a boss fight or something because it is it's so good and I know it's not going to last that long. So I want to make sure I'm using it when I really have to use it and not just against these little minion constructors that are around the place. Ah, so I find I found some white choo-choo jelly, which is the stuff that like freezes me. I wonder if I put that. Let me uh, get out of range from this enemy. If I if I put that on a weapon, could I use that to freeze an enemy? That would be cool, wouldn't it? Uh, right, let's uh, fuse so I can put it on. So I don't think it's going to be very effective against the uh, the actual jellies because they're freezing anyway. I kind of want them to stop freezing that enemy, to be honest, because I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> if it will, uh, if it will let me. So, oh dear, okay, it's doing. F oh no, no, don't, don't, don't! Aha! Oh, we both freezed each other. Oh wait, did I die? I froze myself and died. <laughs> that was my fault. I was fighting too hard to experiment with the specific thing when I should have just gone up to to kill them. It certainly seems like it worked. I don't know why it froze me though. At the same time, <laughs> that was quite unfortunate. Right, okay, we're right back where we were. Let's let's just be sensible now and just uh, take these out the uh, oh hello are you guys you gonna leave me alone okay good yeah let's just take these out the the more normal way shall we oh so it's all ready to freeze so if I hit it now it's gonna freeze me so there we go let's let it do that then I can take it out and then I go take out this guy who's trying to fire me but desperately failing ah uh, so he's using one of those like um flamethrower things you know the things I got out of the capsules earlier. So I guess I could put that on a weapon to, to use it as a, as a flamethrower, which uh, makes a lot of sense. And is my sword on fire? Let me let me put my... Oh, okay, it's actually almost destroyed, you know what? Probably because it's burnt away. So let's just say goodbye to that <laughs> in my dramatic way. And I can take that uh, fire emitter uh, as well. And then let's see, how does this work? Ooh, okay. I like this. Right, let's uh, keep moving forward. Ooh, bomb flowers. That's probably pretty self-explanatory. This is a cool-looking cave. I never saw anything like this in uh, Breath of the Wild. More than the uh, the bomb flowers, though. I'm looking forward to using my uh, my flamethrower. What is that thing? By the way, I just killed. You know those things earlier that were blowing bubbles on me, and I decided not to kill it. Like I killed it, and it dropped like something that looked really, really useful and like special. Probably like a key item. Yeah, a uh, bubble gem. Strange crystal left by defeated bubble frogs in caves. And uh, so, yeah, I've, there's several of those that I've left when I probably should have been taking them out. So sorry. Apologize to everyone in the comments who's been shouting at me that I should have um, <laughs> been trying to, to collect those. What? Anyway, what is, what, what is this thing? What are, we, what are we doing here? I wonder if I'm meant to be using the, uh, the bomb against this guy because they gave like so many of the, uh, the bomb ones around here. But it's so weak now, I can probably just finish it off with this bow. Is it going to do anything? There we go. Okay, we got it. We got it. Are we going to get any good? Oh, it had a chest inside of it and a like-like stone. A uh, strange round stone from a like-like made of crystallized inner fluids. Beautiful. It's a good ingredient for elixirs. Oh, I'm sure it is. Can't wait to drink that. <laughs> the, the solidified fluids of whatever that thing was. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> can I have a straw, please? All right, let's keep making our way through this, uh, this cave and see if we can end up at that shrine. Okay, so I need to climb up there, which is where the shrine is. But it looks like there's like an icy surface. So I wonder if I'm meant to, to like make a, a flying machine in order to, to get up there or if there's like a like a cave I can melt my way through or, or something. Like you see all of these walls there, they're icy. And there's also, there's something up on the top there. There's something there. I mean, there's some enemies there. Oh, there's a chest up there as well. So let's see if I can find a way to get on top of it. You know what I could do? 
rather than try and make a flying machine, I could stack a bunch of tree branches together and then just like lean them against it because then I can climb up the tree branches because they won't be slippy. Right, okay, I've, put th I've attached three trees together. Ah, timber! <laughs> Let's... I wonder if I need to do one more. I need to make sure it's leaning towards the uh, the mountain so it doesn't fall back on me. Oh, that might just be enough. I want to be quick before it falls down. Wait, is it gonna is it gonna let me climb this? Okay, it is. Uh huh. I'm not sure if this is the way that was intended, but with this game, the intended way doesn't really uh doesn't really tend to to mean too much, does it? Uh, right, let's uh, let's let, let's shoot something at them, shall we? Uh, what do we have? What do we have to, to shoot? Oh yeah, we could shoot one of these these bombs. Seems like I have a, a few more of these left. That did some pretty good damage. Oh, oh, they're trying to fuse something. Let's try and take them out quickly before they do. I am still just using a uh, a rubbish little axe though. So tell what, let's throw this because it's almost broken, but that should do a bunch of damage. Uh, and then I got my spiky spear that I made ages ago in that shrine. Uh, I do want to be careful though because I keep because I keep dying uh, and I don't want to, to die again. So let's go and uh, have something to get my health up a little bit. Now let's get back into the uh, back into the fray. Right, this one's nearly dead, so I should be able to take them out. Can I still do my flurry rushes and stuff? See, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do my flurry rush. Remember, if you like jumped at the very last moment, you could get away without doing damage. And I don't know if I'm just getting my timing wrong or whether it's not in this game. I suppose I shouldn't assume that it is because uh, it doesn't seem to be working but then again it could have just been my timing that was uh, completely off so right this was a, a lot of work to get up here so hopefully we're gonna get something good out of all of our efforts uh, an opal okay that's that's pretty good to be fair they, they are worth quite a lot of money and there's some of these things down here although um i'm not gonna bother carrying it around with me for ages uh, but what i can do is i can take my contraption uh that i made uh, and uh, move over there, all those um, those trees, and pile some up over on that side, and that should get me to where I actually uh, need to go. Oh, it doesn't look like it's quite long enough. I think one more, one more log on the the end should be uh, should be enough. Let's see if we can get this a bit more a bit more straight. I haven't attached them very nicely. Let's do this like really wonky one at the the top. So then it's less likely the the entire thing's going to topple down. <laughs> then let's go and try and get it. Like It looks like there's like a little groove here. That if I do them leaning into that, that might work out. Oh, actually, is there actually a problem? Is there like a proper hole there that I'm meant to fill? Oh, maybe this is what I'm meant to, to do. Okay, I don't think I've done it like completely as intended. Because it looks like there is like a proper groove that I could put it in there. But this kind of seems like it's working. If anything, it's just not steep enough. So it didn't actually go into the climbing animation. I was just running. So let's let's tilt this up. Let's see if we can get actually this put in this gut here. And is it going to say that? Ah, perfect. There we go. Don't fall. Don't fall. Oh, it's rolling. It's rolling. Okay, looks like it's just about going to, to stay. <laughs> uh, is there a chest or something in here? No, there is a cooking pot. I don't know if it will be worth. Actually, yeah, let's, let's light this. If I hit the flint, it should, uh, should start. Is that not going to go? Is it because, do I need to hit it with something metal, maybe? Is that going to set it off? There we go. Uh, so, oh! Oh no! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Yeah, I might uh, go and just cook some more of the um, the the fire peppers, or the spicy peppers. Uh, just because uh, it's still very cold out here, and I don't want to to run out of my cold resistance before I reach the shrine. Right, here's the, uh, the shrine. I got a guess for what it is I'm going to, to get from this ability. Because if you look here, there's like a really big overhang. I reckon I'm going to get the ability that allows me to like, kind of go up through like, the ceiling, I guess? Don't know what it's going to, to be called, but that, that's my prediction. Uh, let's see if, uh, let's see if we're correct. So, you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Aha! I think I was right. We've got to ascend. Move upwards through solid materials or merge on the top of it. This is the ascend ability. It lets you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top of it. 
you'll find it quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. Use Ascend and receive the blessing from this shrine. Okay, so let's go and do our little uh, tutorial for how to use uh, Ascend. Okay, so I already got it equipped. It looks like someone getting like, uh, like taken by aliens or something. And oh, okay, so when I go to it, it immediately like shows above to like see if there's a, a place I could use it. So if I go here, it will look up. And I can. Oh, okay, that was a, that was a decent distance. Oh, and this is quite thick as well. Okay, I thought it was just going to be like really uh, thin things, but oh, I'm still like <laughs> halfway through. So if I press back, ah, so I get like a little preview of where I'm going to end up, and then I can make the uh, the decision whether I want to exit or stay underneath. That's cool. So this one is this one too thick? Oh no, I can I can ascend through that. Unless I think there was a chest in this one first though before we go up to the uh, the the top one. Okay, I did not realize it was this powerful. I thought it was just going to be to get me through like little thin ceilings and stuff, but it looks like it actually um allows me to to go quite a uh, quite a distance. Uh, let's uh, get rid of this stone axe just because um we have a fresh one. Might as well uh get a new one so the uh, the axe doesn't break. And then yeah, let's go through this uh, this giant one. The animation as well, I must say, when doing it, is absolutely lovely. And oh, okay, well, the camera didn't pan up that time. That was weird. Oh, and then I can see that there's an enemy here at the the top. I guess I can just go and uh, take them out. Are they are they gonna set the light? Oh yeah, look! They said because I attached the thing to my shield <laughs> because they shot it. See, I thought it might just light up and stay on my shield, which would have been way more useful. But instead, it just <laughs> it just made it fall off and light up that area there. Ooh, do you reckon I can ascend through here? Ah, I can. Is this the way I'm meant to go, or is it no? Okay, this is just a. Uh, a little bonus chest that I can go and grab from here. Then I'm guessing I'm going to have to drop that bridge down. Uh, and then, um... Oh, oh, yeah, so I can drop this. Okay, yeah, I can drop the bridge down. And then I can go up through the bridge would be my only way to go. I say my only way. I'm sure there are sneaky ways I could do it. And oh, okay. I was thinking, can I not break the, the rope? But it was just, uh, I was just missing, apparently. <laughs> right, so let's go and ascend up through here. And then what do we have? Oh, okay, moving platforms. Okay, we can go through moving platforms as well. I guess you just need to, like, time it right. Just to make sure you're directly underneath the platform when it goes. Then, right, is this going to move Is this gonna move underneath the next one? Oh, it is. Okay. For a second, I thought it wasn't. All right, let's go through this one quickly before that moves across. Actually, time seems to freeze before I exit it. Or, like, while I'm choosing to, to move. Maybe that's what they were trying to demonstrate with that enemy. Maybe that enemy wasn't moving, and that's what they were trying to, to tell me. But there we go! Here's our trio of new abilities that we've unlocked. Obviously, I've seen on the, the wheel that there's more abilities that I'll get in the future. I wonder if they're going to be some of the old Breath of the Wild abilities. Uh, I haven't got a camera yet. Would be something that would uh, be nice to, to, to get. Uh, but yeah, I guess we will find out soon enough. But we have the abilities that we need in order to now go to the uh, the temp uh, the time temple place. So that's where we're going to, to head to next. Sadly, though, uh, we will be doing that in the next episode because that is going to be the end of this episode here. So um, yeah, I'm uploading these pretty quick, as you've probably noticed. So uh, you won't have long to, to wait for us to go and carry on our adventure. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!